Hey guys, I am back with another one and this is probably going to be one of the best side hustles that I have ever mentioned on my channel because this one does not require any money to get started. Anyone can do it. Age is not a factor. You can live anywhere in the world and do this. And most importantly, you can make a great passive income doing this every single month by just doing this once. But before we get into all of it, my name is Whitney Bonds, for those of you who do not know, and I created the website Tried and True Mom Jobs, and it's a website designed to show moms and others how they can make money from home on their own schedule. After learning about this new side hustle, I am definitely going to add this to my list. Now, if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you guys do not miss out on this stuff because this is some really good stuff. And if you like this video, I would love it if you give it a big fat thumbs up if you have learned something new that you have never even known existed before. You guys ready to get started? Let's go. Okay, so what in the world am I talking about? I am talking about selling low content books on Amazon. So what are low content books? I think we should start first with what a high content book is first. Now, I don't know if it's even considered a high content book, but this is a book that has a lot of content on in it. You know, pages and pages full of content. So this is what I would consider a high content book. Now, a low content book is something that does not have a lot of content in it. Something like this. Now, I bought this. This is a prayer journal. And the, what the author did, all they did was design a cover and one page. See, if you look at this journal, there is just one page that they designed and they just did a copy and paste for every other page. So all this is, is a good example of a, what a low content book is. Design the cover and create one page where people can just fill out different things. Some other popular examples of low content books are planners, calendars, to-do lists, notebooks, journals, recipe books, and just things like that. Now listen to this. Now the way that you're gonna actually make money doing this is by using Amazon KDP, which stands for Kindle Direct Publishing. So you create the cover and the inside pages and Amazon is going to do everything else. They are literally going to print the book, ship the book, and take care of any customer service issues. And don't think that Amazon is just printing some low quality books because they are in this to make money as well. They have the resources to do this on demand. So this makes for a beautiful business model. You know, if you guys know anything about printing, you usually have to have a number of, like a, a big quantity in order to get the price down. But Amazon, they have the resources to do this on demand. They can create one book with no problem. So that's why this is so attractive to small business owners or just people like me who wanna be able to sell a book but don't have the finances to print it and ship it and things like that. And if you wanna see the quality of your books, you can always buy your own book but you never have to lay a hand on any of the books that you create. So many of you who follow my content, you know that I only talk about tried and true ways that people are making money. So I wanna see that, I need a proof of concept. So when we found out that people were making crazy amounts like this, and even smaller amounts that are like this, we knew that we had to do a video on this because this is a real way that you can make money from home that not a lot of people even know about. So the way I'm gonna do this video is to show you how this all works and how you can literally create a book in minutes. You do not have to have any graphic design experience to do this because I surely don't. And I'm about to show you how to create a book. Now for today's video, I'm gonna be using BookBoat to create my book because it was literally designed to create low content books to post on Amazon and it is amazing. Now there are other programs out there that you can use for free, but they are just way too complicated. And I'm using BookBoat because it pays for itself if you use it the right way. Now I'm gonna show you guys how it all works, but it only costs $10 a month. It's a text write-off. They offer you a free trial. And this is the most important part. I worked out a deal with them where they are offering my viewers 20% off their already affordable deal. So you get a lifetime access to this coupon. So make sure you guys are gonna use my coupon code below so you can get access to this and take advantage of this offer so you can start creating books and making a nice passive income on Amazon every single month. You guys ready? Let's go. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on the computer. So we're gonna go over here to BookBolt, just get started. I'm just gonna go ahead right there to BookBolt, click on that. Now, what we're gonna do is log in right here. Don't forget to use the coupon code so you guys can take advantage of that offer. 
All right, so now once we're logged in, this is gonna be the home page. Now they have these different tutorials that are really helpful. So I highly recommend you guys check that out because it gives you all the information that this platform has and it's really informative and they're really quick. So, all right, but what we wanna do first is what I do this with anything that I approach. I wanna know what the marketplace is doing. I wanna understand what my competitors are doing, how much they're selling their stuff for, how are they naming their stuff? So what you wanna do is start at the cloud. So let's go right here to the cloud. Now this is all real-time data and it's showing you the top best sellers of all low content books on Amazon right now. So if you just do the drop down right here, you'll see that it says top 100 to top 500. Let's just do top 100. And if you do the drop down right here, you'll see they have different categories for all different low content books. So notebooks, journals, music sheets, planners, all that stuff is all in here. So this is just a great database to do some competitive research. So I'm gonna just do notebook and I'm gonna go ahead and do search right here. So basically what I'm doing is just kind of seeing what's already out there, what are, what are people doing? So you can see that these notebooks are the top ones right here, selling on Amazon. So I'm taking a look at the type of notebooks that people are doing. Valentine's Day was just around the corner, so this probably did well. It's probably a seasonal notebook, so definitely take advantage of these seasonal things too because that's a great way to make money as well. All right, so what I like about this is that they also, they let you know what the price these journals are going for and the estimated monthly sales. So 495 times $7 right there, or $8 basically, that's not a bad amount of money, and that is just for one book. Keep in mind, you guys have, you can do as many books as you want. So this is just a great way you guys can make a passive income if you can get your books on Amazon. And BookBow has so many cool things that you can do to help you rank on Amazon. So just doing some other researches, going down here, I see right here that this notebook is very simple right here, uh, that all they did was a cover. So let's go ahead. If you just click on this, it'll take you to Amazon just so you can look at the book. So if I wanted to do a notebook, what is really cool is that it also lets me know how many pages are in this notebook and the dimensions. So basically if I wanted to do a notebook similar to this, I already know what my competition is doing. So I already know that a book like this is probably 110 pages is pretty good. It's got over a thousand raving reviews. So this is a good probably page length right there. And the dimensions are something that I would wanna do as well. So if I go ahead and use this look inside feature, I can actually see what's inside this notebook if I wanted to do something similar. So I'm just going to look, so it says this notebook belongs to, that's their inside page. Okay, and every, it looks like every other page would just be this line copy. So that's, or not copy, just line pages. So that's what this notebook is. So that was a, this is a low content book that they probably designed in BookBolt. And it's see how simple it is. So I'm going to show you guys uh, how to actually create a book in BookBolt because it's very simple to do. And I'm going to show you really how you can do this and not have any graphic design experience. So let's go right here back to BookBolt. And then over here under the research tab, if you want to do the drop down, I'm going to go to create. And this is where we're going to create our cover and interior pages. So if you go to BookBolt right here, BookBolt designer, I'm going to log in. And this is where I'm gonna, so I'm going to say, this is my cover. Oh, let me, before I go ahead, I did a little research before this video and I actually found a book that I wanted to do. So I'm gonna show you an example of what it was. This was a five minute gratitude journal for kids. So I said, oh, this is, looks nice. I wanna do a book like this. So I'm using this one right here as a guide. I'm using it as for inspiration. I'm not going to copy, but I'm just using it as an inspiration for the type of journal that I would wanna do. So I see that it has 120 pages and it's a six by nine. So I'm gonna use these same type of dimensions and the page length, the print length, just for my book because I know that this is already doing well. So if I go ahead and go right back to my book boat designer, I'm going to say six by nine, black and white paper, and I want it to be 120 pages. And it's gonna generate it. Okay, so this is where I'm gonna design my cover. So this is gonna be the back page right here. And this is gonna be the front cover right here. Now they have many tools in here that you could use. You can change the color of the cover right here if you wanted to, or you can have images in here. You can, ha they have this resources tab. So uh, they have already commercial free images that you can use if you want to do a, I mean, I don't know why I chose a pig, but if you wanted to add a pig to your cover for whatever you're doing, you could go ahead and easily just add a pig if you wanted to right there. 
So that's just some of the options that you have on here. They have a very cool resource of all different images that you can use. Now, before this video, I actually found an image on Pexels, P-E-X-E-L-S dot com. They offer free stock images, and I thought it would be nice for the type of journal that I wanted to create. So we're going to go ahead and just X out of this right here, and we're going to go to images that I upload it and go right here. Now, this is the image that I'm going to use for this video tutorial, and it's from Pexels. So I'm going to just flip this around because I think it'll look better right here. I think the yellow stands out pretty nice, so it could be very nice to look on Amazon. So I'm going to just stretch it out. And this is what we call the spine here. And let's see. I'm just going to stretch this out right here, make sure it fits everywhere. And then I'm going to go ahead and you see this feature right here. If I just click on that, I'm going to copy this and go on the next page here because I want the back and front cover to be the same. And then I'm going to add the title of it, and that's going to be it. So I'm going to go ahead and go to text. I'm going to use their text. And then I'm going to use this Anton font right here. These are all free Google fonts. You can use these at your leisure. And then I'm going to just put in gratitude. And then I'm going to stretch this out, make it nice and big, and have it right here, center it. And then I'm going to make this red or this color right here, make it nice and pop. And I'm going to use, I like this little quicksand font right here. So I'm gonna call it this the five minute gratitude journal for kids. So then I'm gonna go up here and then I'm going to go back and use this Anton font. And I'm gonna keep it the same color cause I kinda of like this color, journal for kids. And I feel like this just looks pretty professional and I barely did anything except just write a couple words. So five minute gratitude journal for kids. And there, there you go. So all I'm gonna do right now, that's my cover. I just created in the matter of minutes and I'm gonna go ahead and download this right now. And I'm gonna save this to my desktop. Now, what I wanna do to my interior, I'm gonna go over here and just go to product right here and then go to change product and do the interior. So once again, interior, the trim size is going to be six by nine. Page count is going to be 120 pages. So you can go here and just press bleed here and then submit. Now, this is how you can actually design your own interior pages. So now I'm going to show you another way to do it, which is pretty cool because this is what I'm going to do for mine. And this is how you do not have to have any graphic design experience whatsoever. So if you go over here to interior, Bookboat has these pre-built templates that they have already created where I can just go ahead and make my book in minutes. So I'm going to, and I want you guys to just go ahead and get familiar with what they already have in here, because this can help you decide on what kind of books that you want to do. So you can easily just create the inside covers using these that they already have. So go ahead and just look through these, but I'm going to go all the way down because I'm looking for the gratitude journal they created. And I'm going to go ahead and click on that. So let me find it really quick. Okay, so gratitude journal. Now I'm gonna say, I want it to have bleeds, six by nine. And then the page count is 120 pages. And then you go right to download and check this out, guys. This is my journal right here. It is completely done. I have all the pages to it. And I'm gonna show you another way how to do it interior pages, just so you know all the features that they have. Now, the other way is if you go to interior pro, this is how you can design your own interior pages and put them in how you want it. Or you can still use BookBolt's pre-built templates and put them in here. Now, for example, if you wanted to put a plus sign here, you could add whatever BookBolt already pre-made template there, which whatever you want, you want. Now to do the actual other pages, just do the little plus sign right here and you make the pages what you want. You can also upload them right here and then just have them uploaded right here wherever which pages you want. So this is such a great and cool platform to create your books. Look how simple this is. Anybody can do this. Now I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and publish my book on Amazon KDP. And I'm going to show you what that looks like to help you out once you get to that step typically. So I'm just going to go ahead and Google Amazon KDP to show you guys what it's going to look like. So I already have my interior pages and my cover and I download them to my desktop. And I'm going to go ahead right now to Amazon Kindle. And what you want to do is go ahead and sign in once you get there. 
Now, I want you guys to know when I was signing in the other day, I had to include my um, banking information so I can get paid and my tax information. Now, when you guys are going to get started, you're going to go right here to paperback. But for the purpose of this video, I already went ahead and just put in my information just to make it go ahead, uh, this video go a little bit quicker. So I'm going to go to my graph right, draft right here. And it's going to look just like this. So it's going to ask you what language it is. Mine is going to be English. And then they're going to ask you for a book title. And what I did, I used my competition as a guide, not just the one I had showed you earlier, but I just went in and put gratitude journals just so I have an idea of how are people, what are they saying and how are they describing their books on Amazon? So that's how I came up with my title, just using others for inspiration and just understanding of best practices on how they should uh, look. Now I did a subtitle, gratitude journal for kids. You do not have to do anything for series, edition number. For author, you can put actually, you don't even have to put your name. You can put your name if you want, but I chose to do tried and true mom jobs, which is my company's name, but you guys can do whatever you want. You can have your own pin name. You can add a contributor if you have a contributor to this book. And also this is where you can add your description. So you want to put in more keywords in here, just so if anyone is looking for gratitude journal for kids, I want my book to pop up. So I'm going to make sure that I have gratitude journal for kids throughout this. So that's going to be my description. It's in my title and it's in my um, subtitle. So definitely just consider all these options for different ways that you can put in your keywords so you can get found through the Amazon search results. And then I used uh, publishing rights. So I own the copyright right here because I created the book. So I'm checked right there. And then they're going to ask you for keywords. So this is where I use BookBoat as well. So if we go back to BookBoat and go right over here to research, and then if you go over to keywords and search, my targeted keyword for this was gratitude journal for kids. So I wanna know what are some other related keywords that I should be using. And that is why I love BookBoat because they have this information right readily available for you. So these are all different variations that you can use that are commonly used on Amazon when people are looking up gratitude journals for kids. So they have kids gratitude journals, journal, journal of gratitude for kids, things like that. So I used this information right here and chose the best ones. And then I added it to my KDP right here when they were asking me for which keywords to use. So that's another good reason why I love BookBook. Also, they're going to ask for categories. And this can be kind of tough. So what I did is I actually just went back to BookBook when I was looking for this. And I went to KDP categories. And what you want to do here is just put in like something broad. So mine was journal. And then I did a search and then I found that literary collections and diary and journals was probably the best fit for me. So then that's what I put in KDP. So I put literary collections general and literary collections, diaries and journals. And that's how I was able to choose my categories based on what book book provided with to me. And then they're going to ask you, does this book contain language, situations or images inappropriate? No, it does not. And then I'm going to save and continue to go to the next screen. And then they're going to ask you to get a free KDP ISBN number. So you say, yes, assign me one, and then they will. The publication date, you don't do anything here. The publication date will be when Amazon KDP actually publishes your book. And it typically takes around 24 to 72 hours to actually post. The All right, so as far as print options, this is a black and white interior with white paper. The trim size is six by nine. We're going to do a bleed PDF only. And then for when it says manuscript, this is actually my interior pages. So you saw that interior pages that I downloaded, that is my manuscript. And then book cover, you saw that I created a cover here. So I uploaded it. I did an upload of cover I already had. It was a PDF. And then I went to launch previewer so I could actually see how my book looks in the book format and how it's going to be printed. Do you see that? It looks pretty professional and I think it looks pretty good. So I think this is something that Someone might want to purchase, you know, if I had more time, I want to do even more just to kind of think about how I wanted to look at, but it was, this was for the purpose of this video. So these are just the pages I have right here. And you saw that these are just every single page is going to be this exact same because this is something that they, this child will fill out every single day. And it's going to be from morning and at night, just the different things that they are uh, thankful for. So I think it's pretty cool. And that is how you, it looks. And then I can go ahead and approve this right there. All right, so once you approve it, then they're gonna give you a summary and tell you all what's involved and what the printing cost will be. So that's 229. So basically this is gonna be coming out of whatever you price your book. So this is gonna be important for you to know exactly how much profit you're gonna be getting for each book that you sell. 
So you can go ahead and save and continue. And then you can say all territories. This is going to be worldwide. Primary marketplace will be amazon.com. So the book I'm, I'm using as inspiration, this was $6.65. So what I'm going to do is price mine at $6.50 to see how much that I'm going to actually get. Okay, so I put in $6.50. It's going to tell me how much I'm going to actually make off of this every time someone makes a purchase. So I'm only going to be making $1.61. So yes, this is not a lot of money. But you see here, it only took me a minute to create this book. So I could honestly just do this while I'm watching Netflix. I can create more books to create different covers. And to spend some more time on this. So definitely this is something that to do on the side while you still have a full-time income, but this is a nice side hustle as you can grow your income passively through Amazon KDP system by creating low content books. Go ahead and go down there. You can just say publish your paper book and that's it. Okay, so do you guys see how that all works? I literally just created a book in minutes and you can do the same. You can get creative and do even more, but the idea of this video was just to let you know of the possibilities that you have. Now, I didn't get to cover keyword research like I wanted to, but there is a very helpful tutorial on BookBoat's homepage that can walk you through it to show you how to take advantage of keywords so you can get your books to start ranking in the search results on Amazon. Also, if you guys have a blog, a YouTube channel, or you use social media, these are all great outlets to push your own book that you create or books. So this is yet another great way that you guys can make money from home. Now, if you guys aren't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell for notifications so you guys do not miss out on another video. And if you guys are looking for extra ways to make money from home, definitely check out my video I did on how you can make an extra $1,000 a month from home. So there's several ways to do it. So check it out. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.